Hey, what's up, guys? Ollie here for 5M Tech. Samsung's new Galaxy A55 is only available in the European and Asian markets for the time being, but if you're living elsewhere, there are a couple of solid alternatives. The first is this year's lower tire yet still feature packed Galaxy A35. And the second option is last year's model and a very popular mid-ranger, the Galaxy A54. What's the difference between these two models and could one be the better choice over the other? Let's put them head to head and find out. The Galaxy A54 may not be the newest kit on the block, but it's proven to be a solid mid-ranger since it came out last year. Meanwhile, this year's Galaxy A35 has gotten a lot of upgrades since the previous model becoming more akin to the A50 series. The designs of the A35 and A54 are similar with a flat glass back and separate camera rings. The A35 is larger and slightly heavier. There's also a difference with the frames. The A54 is more rounded and the A35 has an elevated portion where the buttons reside. Both the A35 and A54 offer the same IP67 rated protection so there's no difference there. Like I mentioned the A35 is larger it's built around a 6.6 inch OLED it also has the more durable glass on the front Gorilla Glass Victus Plus. The A54 screen is 6.4 inch, but otherwise it's still a 1080p 120Hz OLED panel. The A35's bezels are slightly thinner, but it lacks HDR certification, while the Galaxy A54 has official support for HDR10 Plus video. Both displays have similar brightness levels and refresh rate. You also get a stereo speaker set up on either phone with similar performance. Both the Galaxy A54 and the Galaxy A35 run on Samsung's One UI and provide the same software experience, but the A35 will get you longer software support at this point. Both phones get 4 years of OS updates and 5 years of security patches, but the A54 is already a year into that schedule. Both the Galaxy A54 and the Galaxy A35 use the same chipset. It's the Exynos 1380 which has trickled down to the A30 series this year. As a result, out you can expect the same performance between the two. Both phones have 5000 mAh batteries, but things seem a bit more optimized on the A35. It has better battery life with a score of 12 hours and 26 minutes versus 11 hours and 15 minutes on the Galaxy A54. On the topic of charging, the results are reversed while both phones support 25 watt charging. The A54 can charge to full faster and just over an hour the A35 takes closer to an hour and a half. The camera setups are similar. The Galaxy A35 has a 15 megapixel main cam, an 8 map ultra wide, and a 5 map macro camera. Meanwhile, the Galaxy A54 has a 15 map main cam with a different sensor, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and again a 5 map macro. The photo quality out of the two phones is very similar, perhaps it would give the slight edge to the A35 for its slightly more laid-back processing with less sharpening applied. The same goes for low-light conditions, where both phones produce photos with low noise, plenty of detail, and wide dynamic range. 4K footage from the main camera is good from either phone, we would say that the A54 has a slight edge. The Galaxy A35 and the Galaxy A54, as it turns out, they're incredibly similar with the Galaxy A54. You get a more compact phone with an HDR10 plus certified screen, faster charging to 100% and a slightly better ultra-wide cam, not to mention the A54 does retail for less than the A35 as of this time. Meanwhile, the A35 gives you a larger display with good Gorilla Glass Victus Plus protection, the thermal management is much better, the battery life is slightly better, and you get longer software support, as it's a newer model.
Overall, even though the A54 is technically higher tire, it doesn't offer anything too major over the A35. They provide pretty much the same experience, and in the end your decision might come down to which model you can find at a better price. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.